In this video, I'll show you how to use the Stack AI Agent Builder. The Agent Builder is a simplified version of the workflow builder that allows you to more quickly get up and running with an AI agent which has access to your files and a simple UI. These files can exist in your SharePoint drive, your Google Drive, your Dropbox, your Notion, and many other places. I'll show you how to build this simple financial agent. Let's dive right in. From the Stack AI dashboard, click on Quick Start. This takes you to the Agent Builder interface. On the left-hand side, you see the user interface. This is where people will interact with your app. On the right-hand side, we have all of the different configuration options. Let's give our app a name, call it a financial assistant. And we can give our app a fun avatar here if you want to. We'll save that for later. Next, we need to choose our LLM provider. By default, it's Anthropic, but you can choose OpenAI, Google, any number of other ones. For some companies, it's too risky to be connecting to the large cloud LLM providers. And if that's the case for you, you can choose the local option, and you can also publish this app to your local on-prem instance. If you need that, you can click local here. After that, you can select the model that's most appropriate for you from this provider. We're gonna use the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Next, you can give your AI some specific instructions, but we'll just leave the default ones for now. And now the most important part is giving the chatbot access to your knowledge base or your private data. So to do this, you can drag and drop specific files that you wanna have access to here, or you can connect anything like your Google Drive, Notion, SharePoint, etc., by clicking here. We already have a SharePoint folder connected, so I'll just type in financial here and select that. When I do that, I can see the folder appears as well as all of the individual files within that folder. I can click on them, see when they're created, any specific metadata tied to them. I can preview the specific documents and see how it's been parsed and chunked by the AI. Now my AI bot has access to all of these files and I can find additional advanced settings here that will allow the AI to give specific citations when the person interacts with it, show the steps as it's thinking, and also give suggested follow-ups to help the user along if they have other questions. So let's try this out. Just tell the bot to summarize uh, some of the recent financial docs. As we do this, we can see that it's thinking, processing the documentation, and as it does, it responds with the various values. But what's really cool that it gives citations as it's generating a response. And if you click on each one of them, you can go to the preview and you can find where that data came from in the document. And we can see this one's referencing a completely different file four different times. By clicking on the citation number, you can jump to where the agent referenced that file. Pretty cool. If we scroll down, we can see all the sources that were used and we can also see the follow-up questions. So we could just click one of these and it'll jump into giving more specific financial documents. Now, let's say we wanna allow this agent to take some action on some of this data as we're interacting with it. To do this, we can add tools. We can add a tool, for instance, a task scheduler. We can say, remind me about the Q1 document next week on Wednesday. When we do this, we see that it's now created a reminder for next Wednesday at midnight. You can also add tools like the ability to do a web search or even give it access to Yahoo Finance Analytics. Let's say, what is the change in the Salesforce stock over the last month? We can see that it uses this tool and then gives us a chart of the Salesforce stock over the last month. Additionally, you can add all sorts of other tools like creating issues, doing LinkedIn searches, querying Salesforce, etc. And that really sums it up. From there, we can publish our agent and then send this link to any of our colleagues so they can start accessing this chatbot themselves. Now, anyone in your company can build a kick AI co-pilot in no time. 